What's up? How y'all doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you feel out there? Uh, a lot of competition. Uh, it was hot, so we were just pushing each other, so I felt really good out there. On competition, um, you had two reps against AJ today. Had, it seemed like you had a stare down there. What was that experience like? Yeah, just every day I come out and I go against AJ, I just try to compete. I mean, he won the best in the game, so I know I'm going to get good work. So every chance I get to go against, I'm just going to compete and try to raise the bar. Well, you had yeah, the been thrown at you pretty early. How, how do you feel you responded? I feel like I handled it well. I've been at uh, corner, nickel, and dime, so I just learned every spot, learned every position, so I feel really good. What's that I really about playing slot? Uh, just the versatility that I can be inside or outside, and they're just asking me, or asking, or just doing what they asked me to do, so I feel good. I asked Shipley this earlier, your first NFL uh, training camp. How does it compare to Toledo? I mean, it's more of a grind. I mean, we're here all day, uh, practice, meeting in the film room, walkthrough, so just being here all day and just grinding. What did you just say to AJ after that first one? I know in the spring you told him like that was a trash route, but did you say anything like that this time? Uh, I'm going to just keep it between me and him. I mean, we're going to compete and we're going to uh, talk trash all day. So. But does he kind of give you pointers and stuff? Like, does he help you out as far as like, you know, what you're seeing and what he's doing and stuff? Oh, yeah, on the field, we're going to compete, but off the field, we talking stuff like that, and he just gave me pointers and stuff like that, so I appreciate him. I know AJ was out, but what did you think of that one and the catch he made? Uh, it was a good catch. He was out of bounds, though, so yeah. yeah. Entering, entering training camp, is it just you see, okay, this is where they're going to put me, or is there a conversation they have with you about what you, you'll be doing? Uh, no, just wherever they put me. They put me at corner, I'm be out there in the nickel of dime. So, I mean, whatever they thought of me, I'm just, I'm just ready for it. It seems like when we talk to you off the field, you're kind of quiet, reserved, and then you get on the field and you're staring down an all-pro. Do you kind of like flip a switch when you get on the when you get on the? Field? I mean, yeah. Like I said, it's all about competing. I mean, he's one of the best in the game, so I'm gonna give him all I got. How much? How many reps do you, would you say you got in the slot you know, before this summer? I guess how much of an adjustment has it been for you? Uh, no reps in the slot. So I mean, they've been throwing it at me, but I feel like I've been handling it well. So yeah. What was the learning curve like going from outside to the slot? What are some of the challenges? Oh uh, yeah, just knowing where my help at, just being inside, uh, knowing the checks that the safety give me. So just just more of a. Uh, just learning the whole defense, I'll say that. Is there a corner? That... Yeah, uh, I probably asked him the most questions out of, out of everybody, out of uh, Slay and uh, Bradbury, too. I ask him uh, questions all the time, and he's he's very helpful. Uh, he doesn't shy away, and he just gives me all the answers I need. What was the moment? Uh, me and Slay, we got an interesting relationship. Like, uh, I mean, we joke a lot, we have fun, but I mean, every day I try to ask him a question, but most important, I just, I just watch him. See how he care himself, how he take care of his body, how he a pro. You moved in with him or what? Did you end up moving in? Nah, 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 I haven't moved in with him. Was it a surprise to you that you were going to be taking reps in the slot or did you know that the answer was something? Uh, no, nah, I didn't know it, but they threw it at me. So I was like, let's let's take it on, let's let's do it. How much experience did you get in the slot at, uh, at Toledo? Uh, not that much. Oh, okay. How'd you find out? Who told you that? Uh, just before I went out, it was like, uh, you're going to be at nickel or you're going to be at down today. So I was ready for it. Is there a uh, corner, before you got into the league, is there like a corner or corners that you patterned your game after? Darius Slay. <laughs> for real? But yeah. before you got on the team, yeah, it's not yeah. just uh, No, nah, this is not at all. Like, Darius Slay. What did you like about his game? Yeah, what did you like? You said what? What did you like about Slay when you were mentioned? Just like off man, and then he's just been doing it for a long time. It's year 12, so it's hard to play 12 years in the league. You and Cooper, the Gene, have a close relationship coming in the same draft class. Well, probably a little frustrating for him not being able to be out here. What's he like behind the scenes? How's he How's he coming along? With oh, yeah, he's, he's been taking the good. He's been rehabbing his body, taking care of his body, uh, getting mental reps. Uh, so when he comes out, he's going to be real ready. You work with him and go over stuff in practice? You watch tape together? Yeah, we watch tape uh, at, when, once the day get over with, just me and him. and uh, We just watch film and stuff like that and just get a good knowledge of the game. You mentioned, what have you learned about the league and the, you know, OTAs and – being in training camp, what have, you, what have you found out about this league that maybe you didn't know before you? I mean, it's a grind. You hear all day. No school, uh, no book work, none of that. Just straight football. So, yeah. Better? Yeah, yeah, that's better. When it comes, when it comes to the zone, zone defense concepts, I know there's a lot of different zones, stuff like that, but how much more is there to learn with him than with what you had? What you responsible for? Responsible for it to lead. Yeah, so I'm inside, just just knowing what I what I got to do. Uh, out the re, uh, the release of the receiver, just knowing where my help at and stuff like that. So, just I'd say just knowing where my help at. And you mentioned earlier knowing where your help was. Was there a moment in practice where you realized like, okay, what, where is my help? Or was there a learning moment that? You uh, no, I'll just say uh, I come out prepared. I watch film the night before, go over the playbook. So I feel like I come out prepared. So
You look, you look different. Why the haircut? Um, I just try to mix it up every year, honestly. Um, lucky enough to be in a profession where I don't have to be super presentable, so decided to shave the head and keep the body a little cooler during the summer. Or the mustache. Mustache is just a, just a good addition. I just uh, just got lazy shaving. I was like, oh, I'll keep the stash. So I've gotten some some compliments on it, so I think I'm gonna keep it. Brandon talked about how vital your career is. I mean, obviously you two are in the same rookie class. Like, how, how important is your career for you and your future? Uh, really important. You know, I think every year is important, but I mean, you know, on a four year deal, obviously your third year is important. And um, to me, it's all about just improving every single year. So I'm just looking to make, you know, another step and, uh, you know, uh, my, my progression, you know, on, on offense and everywhere else. What do you think you put the most on? Um, I mean, it's hard to tell, you know, it's just our first day of, of pads, but um, definitely my blocking, just being getting stronger at the point of attack and uh, using my body uh, in, a, in, a, in a more efficient way. I think my route running's gotten better um, just throughout the uh, off season and OTAs and the summer. I worked a lot on that. And um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I think I've gotten better in, in, in every facet of the game. When Jack was not brought back, did, you know, how did you mentally handle that? And what do you think that is for you? Yeah, I mean, I think every year is an opportunity. And obviously, I, I understand that, you know, there's a, uh, there's a battle for the number two spot. And so, obviously, I'm always going to put my best foot forward. Um, so I'm, I'm taking advantage of that opportunity. We've seen some heavy tight end usage, you know, in, in some of these plays. Um, how, how do you like this offense? I mean, do you feel it caters to the tight yeah, ends? I really like it a lot. I really do. I think um, there's opportunities for guys to make plays everywhere. And, um, you know, I love the progression, the style offense. You know, everybody's an option. So um, I'm hoping that, you know, guys get some opportunities. And um, it's been uh, good so far. Yeah. Yeah, I like the motion. At first, it was just you know it's a lot of a lot of change, and so it took some getting used to. But I like it a lot. You know, it keeps the defense on their toes. Um, you know, it confuses guys a bit, and then you know off the field, I think Kellen's a great dude. He's got a great demeanor about him. He's you know really friendly, um, and has a ton of knowledge. I think I saw you did some MMA or boxing training yeah. this offseason. Is that something new? What was that? And yeah, that was new. Um, it's a guy I've known um, since high school, really. And then I was looking for a way to improve my conditioning as well as just, you know, getting stronger. And um, so, yeah, I was in there, you know, a couple, three times a week, um, just getting my conditioning up for the most part. And so that was uh, super beneficial. Sirianni talked about you in the spring about having a good spring catching the football. Do you see more of a role, perhaps, maybe lining up as a third receiver or more in the slot to uh, take advantage of that? I'd love to. You know, I got to go out and, and uh, prove that I can do that. So um, just got to keep, you know, working out here and, and stacking days. And, you know, hopefully that's somewhere where, you know, I can be fit. You said you focused on route running this offseason. What, if anything, did you do differently to try to grow in that area? Um, you know, honestly, just kind of bouncing, you know, and watching film, you know, watching AJ, watching Devontae, watching Dallas, and, you know, asking those guys questions and, and watching more film and just seeing how, you know, guys do it and, you know, watching other tight ends around the league, you know, guys who are my size, uh, how they get out and create separation. How much do you think Count's offense uh, will bring more formations and looks to a defense in terms of, especially when it comes to 2, 12, and 13 personnel. Yeah, I think it'll it'll change a lot. You know, like like we were saying earlier, it's a lot of motion, a lot of moving around. So uh, I think once you put in, you know, you know, two big bodies or three big bodies, it'll really change the way defenses play in terms of, you know, getting in and out of base personnel and being able to attack them in, in the run game and the pass game. Yeah, is there a player you uh, like patterned your game after uh, coming up from high school, college, whatever? Yeah, um, I would say last couple of months I've been watching a lot of film on Jameer Gibbs uh, from the Lions, just how versatile he is. Um, you know, his ability to make people miss, uh, get through the little holes, and also just how elusive he is, um, catching the ball out of the backfield. You know, he's a uh, a back that can do it a, a multitude of ways, and that's something that I want to hang my hat on and, and be able to do as well. So, um, yeah, I would say him, him for sure. 
you never know how many opportunities you're going to get as a, as a rookie. Uh, seems like you're getting some reps, uh, especially in the passing game, and having the opportunity to show what you can do. Do you feel a little surprised how many opportunities you've had and, and, and that you've been able to do that? Yeah, you know, I feel great uh, so far on camp. Just very blessed to... to First of all, be here in Philadelphia, but uh, also, like you said, getting opportunities, getting the reps that I am, and just want to make the most of them. Um, you know, I'm gonna go in there and, and I'm gonna make sure that I'm prepared going into practice and and be ready for anything that's you know shot my way. Uh, you know, when opportunities like yesterday come up, where it's just you know me and Kenny mostly getting the the first team reps, and and uh, you know I, I get some more in there. I want to make sure to t take advantage of days like that and uh, move forward and, and do do good with that. But what have you from Saquon? Yeah, uh, that's the one thing I love about Saquon is just so willing to share. Not only him, uh, Kenny, Lou, you know, just all the older guys. They're they're so willing to share and and to help uh, you know us younger backs out, Kendall and I. And uh, you know, I would say with Saquon, it's just how to be a pro. Uh, that's one of the best things. You know, just removing. The, the football uh, knowledge out of it, just just ha how to prepare off the field, how to prepare in the film room, um, take care of your body off the field as well. Just so many different things that he's willing to share and, and willing to help me out with. Uh, been very grateful for 2-6 for and all the other guys in the room. Well, your first NFL training camp, how does it compare to Clemson? Uh, what are some of the differences, anything you've had to adjust to? <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, it's similar, but so different as well. You know, I would say Clemson 100% prepared me for, um, you know, the NFL and, and what comes with it. But it's also a lot different in terms of the, the mental aspect, I would say. You know, you're not out here for long. You're out here for an hour and a half, hour 45 top. Um, and, you know, you're, you're getting your work in that you need, but you're also taking care of your body. Um, being cognizant of that, but off the field, you know, in the film room, all, all the stuff that I mentioned earlier, you know, that that's a, a huge part of the, the NFL. Everybody's physical capabilities are very similar. So to be able to go out there, know what you're doing, and be able to play full speed based off of how prepared you are um, is where I've seen probably the biggest difference and, and something I'm continuing to uh, get better at. How long did those practices run at Clemson? <laughs> oh, man, I, I, I couldn't tell you the exact length, but um, – um, you know, if 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 we didn't go out there ready to go, it would it would restart. We we'd have to get back after it. You know, it was uh, just all all part of the game, all part of college ball. Um, a lot of tradition to it. You know, maybe old school mentalities is something you could put towards it. But um, yeah, definitely longer than than these practices. <laughs> you know, that wheel route, uh, I think it was yesterday um, down the left sideline. Play like that. How much can that help you? How much do you feel like if, if you make a play like that, it gets you the Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's great. I, ex I expect to make those plays. You know, that's, that's something I think I bring to the table is just the ability to catch the ball out of the backfield. Um, you know, something we've been joking around about is, is they can't keep guarding us with, with DNs out of the backfield. And, um, you know, so when they do that, we've we got to take advantage of it. Uh, so, you know, a play like yesterday, uh, Jalen puts a great ball up and, and just got to go up and make a play. Um, could, couldn't have been a better throw, and uh, yeah, I just I love opportunities like that, and can't take it for granted. Got to go make a play and, and make sure that uh, you know everybody can see you do it as well. well, well that, uh, receiving aspect of it for, from your perspective, you have a reputation of being kind of a natural receiver. Where does that kind of develop? Where's the adjustment? Yeah, uh, you know, it's, it's something that I've just done since high school ball. You know, I played a lot of receiver there, and then when I got to Clemson, something I just continued to emphasize and focus on. Um, wasn't able to, to do it as much as I wanted to, but, you know, once I got here during OTAs, was able to play some F in the slot and, and do all that, learn some of the concepts, and, and uh, just get a lot more practice. So, yeah, I think just continuing to develop that side of me, show that, um, you know, I'm as versatile as they come and, and go make plays, you know, wherever the team needs me to, whether it's catching the ball, running up the middle, or, or blocking, protecting the quarterback. Well, what so did yesterday, you notice? the in consensus from the vets was they were tired of these t-shirts and shorts. They wanted to put the pads on. But for you, this is your first time ever at an NFL camp with pads on. What was that experience like today? Oh, it was awesome. You know, it brings a smile to my face. I, I missed it. You know, I hadn't, hadn't gotten hit since, since last, you know, December. December of last year, so um, you know, as a, as a running back, it's something you gotta love is is the the physicality of football and and everything that comes with it. So to be able to you know strap up and and uh, 
uh, get hit a couple times, you know, deliver some hits and, and do those things while also staying safe, taking care of your teammates, making sure everybody gets to where we need to go um, was a great feeling. What have been your impressions of the new kickoff and some of the differences that you've noticed from the perspective of our returners? Yeah, um, you know, it's it's a, a learning curve for everybody. Um, you're looking at a lot of XFL tape. You know, they were the first ones to implement it. Coach Clay's done a great job of, uh, you know, kind of getting us up to knowledge, getting us up to speed on, on all the rules, and, and uh, you know, they continue to change. But, yeah, just getting as many reps as you can, especially before preseason, before we go out there and, and actually get put in the fire. Uh, just knowing all the rules, knowing everything that comes with it, and being able to, to um, go out there and make some plays. Anything stick out to you on that, on that team? What's up? Anything stick out to you um, Yeah, you know, there's, there's going to be a lot more opportunities uh, um, to – Go make a big play as a, as a kick returner. Uh, you know the the front line of the kickoff and the kickoff return. They're a lot closer, so there's not as much contact. Um, it's almost like a, a full field inside zone play for a running back. You know, so you, you got to find the gap, you got to hit it, be ready to move at any time. And you know, if you get a one on one with the kicker, you got to make a miss. Can't can't let him tackle you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just Will Shipley with not as good of hair or beard. <laughs> in the receiving part of the game and, and just the opportunities you're getting, how much, how, how great has that been? Yeah, I mean, honestly, anytime you can learn from Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown, you are just like a fly on the wall. Everything they do, everything they say, and uh, especially Devontae for my body type, right? Just learning from him. I feel like I learned more in my first month or two here than I did my whole college career, just from watching, right? And, uh, but also, I, I really like to watch film on guys around the league with similar body types, right? Like, I've watched a lot of Cole Beasley this year because Cole played for Kellen, you know, in an offense before. So I watched a lot of that and um, just try and see where he fit in, right? So I, I don't watch the DK Metcalfs as much because I, I don't really relate to that. But <laughs> you what, what do you think you learned from uh, watching Cole oh. Beasley and how have you seen that kind of translate so far in the training? Yeah. Well... I've always watched guys like that. Cole Beasley is one of my favorite people to watch of all time. Um, I really think, you know, mainly he uses his intelligence first and then his quickness and ability second. And that's kind of how I've always been as well. Uh, teams only play man so much of the time. And so you, you got to be smart in every sense of the word. And, and the big thing for me is just building trust with Jalen. You know, Jalen's come up to me and told me he trusts me. And, and that's the biggest compliment you can get, right, from your quarterback. And so uh, just like I said, seeing myself and my role and, and where I fit in is, is what I'm looking forward to. Between Makuka and Nakua in the offseason, what have you learned from him and what has he learned from you? Yeah. Like I don't know if Puka's learned anything from me. I mean, Puka and I have been friends since childhood. So um, Puka and his older brother Samson and I were, were best friends. But uh, something I love about Puka is a lot of – all-star receivers aren't willing to go and do the dirty work that Puka does. If you go watch a game, you'll notice how many times Puka is sent to go block a, a Mike linebacker or, a, or something like that, and he does it willingly. And that's just Puka's mentality and attitude. And, and I'd say we, we're kind of similar like that. I think that's, that's the Utah gene is what we, we call it. So you're just willing to do anything for the team, you know? Brick, coming into year three, where do you feel you've shown the most growth? I think uh, I've shown... The most growth as a receiver, I, I think, like I said, reliability as a receiver is important. If you think about it in this offense, we've got A.J. Smitty, Dallas, and Saquon. So your third receiver that's out there, he needs to be able to affect the game in ways other than just being ball-centric, right? Because there's only so many footballs to go around. So I think that's why a lot of times, you know, in the past we've had Quez out there. He affects the game with his speed, right? Paris and John affect the game with their speed. I feel like my route running uh, and my ability with the ball is something similar. Uh, you can't just leave. You can't just leave me. You know, you, you got to be a threat in some way without needing the ball in your hand. And so, um, when you have that good of players as your as your ball centric guys, you got to have the other guys affect the game in some way. So for me, I, I've really focused on that. Work really hard in the off season, and you never. You know, people ask me. I haven't gotten many chances at receiver, but you know. One day I'll tell my kids I was Devontae Smith's backup, and, and I'm pretty proud of that, you know. So, uh, well, hopefully we get some chances this year, though. You said that Jalen Hurts uh, ex expressed confidence in you. What kind of feedback are you getting in the meeting rooms from Amo and whoever else? Yeah. 
Well, I mean, the, like I said, the key for me is always being in the right spot every single time so that they can trust me. They can put me at all three positions. You could put me anywhere on the field and I'll, I'll do the right thing. But then, you know, at the end of the day, for example, if Devontae goes down, the goal is you don't panic. You say, we got a, we got a slot receiver in here who can do some things, you know, who's like a, a – I watch a lot of Danny Amendola, Cole Beasley, like I mentioned. You have some specialty things you can do. And so it's – First, giving the confidence that you're in the right spot, but then also it's like, dang, we, we've got some packages that we could put them in, whatever that is. Um, and this is all aside from the return game, right, just as a receiver. So, so that's yes, they're expressing confidence? Yes, you absolutely. The they express okay. confidence to me. Yeah, the coaches and the, and the, and the quarterbacks. Has it surprised you how many opportunities you've, you've gotten with the ones uh, on offense? Uh, not really. I, towards the end of last year, it was starting to be similar. Um, but like I said, I, I'm just grateful to be out here right now. Last year during preseason, I wasn't able to. And so uh, I'm hopeful that this year, you know, I, I think that was a big reason why I didn't get a jump in last year is I had to miss the whole preseason. And that was frustrating for me. And so I'm, I'm grateful to be out here right now. I know in the offseason you trained with – sorry. I know in the offseason you trained with Jaron Hall and Zach Wilson. Did your training regimen change at all, knowing that you were going to have more of an opportunity this summer? Uh – no, I would say I spend a, like a five to one ratio on receiver to return because there's only so much you can do as a returner. Uh, I went and cap, caught punts about once a week from Ryan Rico, who, who was on the Patriots for a while. Uh, but other than that, it's just nice to pick guys' brains who've been in the league, guys like Austin Colley, right, uh, slot receivers who've been in the league, picking their brains and understanding, you know, I'm not a young guy anymore in the league. I'm in year three. Like, this is the time I should be contributing wherever I can. You haven't returned kicks at this level yet. No. I think you had a return. I, I, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how much more are kick returns with the new rules more like punt returns now? Yeah, well, it's all going to depend on the body types they put out there. You're going to see some teams put out DNs and D linemen, and you're going to see some teams put out corners and safeties. So part of it is matching the body types that are put out there. Uh, you know, I, we, we don't have our scheme completely developed yet, but I think you're going to see schemes start off pretty vanilla across the league, and then as they, as they go, you're going to see some really unique things happening. Uh, it's going to be fun. I'm excited for people to see. There's a lot of variability that can happen. Hang time is irrelevant at this point, which is really unique compared to the rest of the kicking game. Uh, placement is everything. And so, uh, you know, I, I know I'll get a couple opportunities, but we're going to see what body types we put it back there. A lot of squib kicks or whatever. Um, yeah, part of the battle is probably going to be just being able to field them. Hundred percent. Yeah. They're going to play, have some squib kicks, but there's also a risk in squibbing it. Right, the lands before the twenty, it goes out to the forty yard line. So you're going to have some guys that really need to master that squib kick before the team has a confidence to to do it. Are there any concerns you have for the kickoff? Um. Not, no concerns I have. I'm, I'm more excited to see how it goes and interested in what, type, what body types are going to be out there. How about questions or anything like that? Like some, um, like questions? No, not, not really. No, I, I'm just excited. I, I think it's, what's crazy is that you're not, even when there's a field goal, you're going to have a return. You're not going to have any more fair catches or anything like that. It's going to be, you know, 10, 15 more hits on guys' bodies too. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Brad.